Hey guys, I'm Chef Pam. Welcome back to my kitchen. This is Chef and More. And today we are going to be making fried tomatillos. Guys, if you've ever had a fried green tomato, you will love these. Let's get in the kitchen and get busy. So the first thing you want to do is peel off this little paper casing. Just peel that off, each one. Now when you peel it off, they'll probably be just a little bit sticky. So we'll go over and wash them off right quick. Then we're going to slice them up. And it comes off real easy, as you can see. Just take each one off. Okay guys, I'm gonna get these washed up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have them all washed up right quick. And I noticed this one has a bad spot on it, so I'm gonna actually slice that bad spot off and keep it moving. We're going to get them sliced up, then we're gonna lay them out on the paper towels, sprinkle some salt on them, and let them drain a little bit. That's going to pull out some of that extra moisture. Get this off right quick. Make sure the rest of it is good. It's okay. So toss that aside. Let's lay this one down this way. We're going to toss the tops aside. And you don't want them too thin, but you don't want them too thick either. So about that thickness is what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for, guys. Cut off this little end right here. Okay guys, I'm gonna get the rest of these sliced up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have them all sliced up. And we just lay them down here side by side, just like this, so that we can sprinkle them with kosher salt and allow them to pull some of that extra moisture out of them. Okay, just put a good amount on there. It's just going to pull out that extra moisture so they won't be soggy when they're fried. And we're going to let them sit like this for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're going to flip them over, change the paper towels, and do the other side. And we'll be back. Okay, guys. And as you can kind of see, I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Underneath there, you can see how wet the paper towels are. That's because all that extra water has drained out. Now, because we put the kosher salt on them, you just want to take them and wipe them off, get some of that salt right back off of them, and sit them down in your flour. Sit them down in your flour, guys. That's all you want to do. Okay, so just toss them really well in your flour. Then we're going to go ahead and make our batter for them. It's going to be a pretty much a tempura batter. I like to use tempura batter anytime I can on my vegetables because it's so, the texture is light. It doesn't weigh you down and make you feel like you're eating all this fried food. And it keeps it really light. So I'm just gonna coat these real well and I'll run them back through the flour again right before I dip them in the actual batter. Okay, we have our oil heating up and to this, this is just all purpose flour. We're going to be adding cornstarch. I'm not big on measurements, so I'm just gonna put some in here. It provides that extra crispiness, this regular cornstarch. I'm going to add in some garlic powder. Always season in layers, guys. Season in layers. Onion powder. I'm not big on using different salts like onion salt and garlic salt because I think once you combine all those salts together, it can get a little bit salty and we've already had them sitting in salt. So I think that's enough. And here's some paprika. You can always dust them with a little salt in the end after you fry them up. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up to be adding some ice cold water, guys, to make our batter. Ice cold water. Don't want that ice to get in there. Let's see. And guys, while our oil is coming up to temp, we have our batter all made. 
Uh, for those of you who may not know, tomatillos, or some people say tomatillo, some people say tomatillo, some people say tomatillo. So, I'm gonna say tomatillos. Okay then. Um, they are actually a cousin to the green tomato, or to the tomato in general, not green, because most tomatoes are green before they turn red. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are actually a distant cousin to the tomato. They just have a little lemony type flavor. So, you know, sometimes when you have that fried food, you want just a little squeeze of lemon or lime to bring in that acidity. These already have it because it's in the natural flavor. A lot of people use them for salsa and things like that. So just wanted to let you know, they are a cousin to the fried, not the fried green tomato. Come on now, to the tomato. Let's get them fried up. Okay, so our oil is nice and hot. And one more thing I'm going to add to my batter, I'm going to put in a little complete. This is one of my go-to seasonings. You don't have to add this. I just think it brings a little earthiness to veggies when they're fried or even when they're not. I put it in my salads and everything. I just love it guys. So I'm gonna put that in my batter in the end. Sprinkle a little bit more in here because I want it to come through really well because I just love it. Again, you can skip the complete. If you don't have it, don't like it, don't want it. Put your own seasonings in there. Whatever seasonings you might like guys, whatever seasonings you might like. Okay, so this is good and hot. In fact, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And we're going to put our tomatoes, make sure you dust them again with the flour into the batter. And I'm going to sit this spoon down because I need to use a dry hand and a wet hand. So we're going to just go in here like this, make sure that they are good and coated, guys. Good and coated in the batter. Excess falls off, always get the excess off, guys. That just clumps up in the oil. And that just clumps up in the oil. And guys, it can be pretty messy on your hands and fingers and everybody doesn't like that. So another little trick you can do is to use a toothpick. Stir it around really good, flip it over using that toothpick. You can use your spoon to make sure it's covered. Everybody doesn't like using their hands, so I like to kind of show more ways that you can do it without using your hands. You can even pick it up with that toothpick. Let the excess drop off. And in it goes, guys. In it goes. Okay, let's move right along. I'm going to put two or three of these in here and we're going to get them all in the skillet and we will be back. Okay guys, so these look like they are just about ready to turn over some of them. I'm going to let them cook for just a couple more seconds on this side and then we'll get them all turned over guys. Yes, looking good. Okay guys, and while those are frying up, we're gonna make a spicy mayo dip for them. It's just gonna be mayo and red hot hot sauce, guys. That's it, that's all we need. Mayo in here. Shake in a little of your hot sauce and mix it well. This is a real simple and easy spicy dip. You can make it as hot as you like it. And that's the beauty of it. The thing about it is you want to mix it well until it's nice and smooth. Oh yeah. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay guys, let's check on our tomatillos. Okay guys, let's get them turned over. They are looking good and crispy. Yes, delicious, delicious, delicious. Get them all turned over. And we'll be back when it's time to take them out. So guys, we are all ready to come out and I'm going to let them drain on a cooling rack before we go ahead and actually place them. Alright, yes. Look at that guys, look how nice and crispy that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these out and we'll be back when it's time for our taste test. 
Guys, we are all done. Doesn't that look delicious? Isn't that delicious, guys? Look at those fried tomatillos. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Delicious, 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 guys. Delicious. Okay. Okay, guys, we are ready for the taste test. Isn't that delicious? Look at that again, guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious in our sauce. Let's just go ahead and dip it in the sauce, guys, and give this a taste. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The batter is crunchy. The sauce is spicy. The tomatillos are lemony. You got the best of both worlds. I'm telling you guys, if you like fried green tomatoes, mm -mm -mm. you have got to try these guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. A snack, a side dish, whatever. Guys, please subscribe to this channel. Help me reach the next milestone. Give me a thumbs up and share me out. Sharing is caring, guys. Sharing is caring. Guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.